Well, good morning, Susan. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. What brings you to Miami Device? Um, I'm very excited to meet members of my PLN, and I'm presenting a couple of sessions, and it's been an awesome conference so far, one of the best I've been to. So if you have one takeaway that you're going to take back to your school, what that what will be? Hmm. I learned some really cool stuff about app smashing and uh, doing really great things with video on iPads in the classroom, and um, I'm really looking forward to exploring that. Now let's talk about Twitter for a little bit because you know we're both big fans of Twitter for professional development. Absolutely. Uh, how do you see Twitter evolving as a professional development tool for educators? Well, I think it really helps educators connect with others and to expand their thinking and uh, to share resources with one another. I think teaching can be a very isolating profession in a lot of ways and it is so helpful to be able to connect with other passionate educators who are sharing best practices, who are interested in improving their, their professional practice, and it's just a tremendous way for teachers to feel renewed and to um, make what they're doing better for kids. If you have one recommendation for teachers that are hesitant to join on mm -hmm. Twitter or start using Twitter as a professional development tool or as a resource in their classroom, what would you tell them? I would tell them to step outside their comfort zone, push themselves to do something a little different and to jump on in. In fact, I'm very pleased at the conference. Um, I've had a chance to uh, talk to Sylvia Tolisano, who is uh, the person who gave me my push to get on Twitter, and uh, it really changed my life, and I'm forever grateful to her for that. So I would encourage anyone watching this video who's a little reluctant to push yourself the way Sylvia pushed me, and uh, to give it a try, because I think they'll be very pleased with the results. That's great. Now, I understand we have Sylvia, so we're going to photobomb this video. This is new. I never tried that before. So we're going to bring Sylvia in the shot now. Yay! Sylvia's here with us. So if, if you had um, one piece of advice for educators as far as using Twitter, what would that be? Because Susan just said that you pushed her to Twitter. So, so what makes you help teachers join on Twitter? Well, um, if I feel nice that day, um, <laughs> I would I simply say it's, it's a form of connecting. We need to get, we need to open up the classroom walls. We need to connect with other educators and help our students create their own network. So, so that's the, the nice one. And the other, the other um, response that I would have is, if you feel you're afraid, I don't know what to share, this, I don't have anything to share, I don't know how all of this works, I would simply say get over it. Because this is the way we learn, this is the way we, um, we, we learn in an amplified way. And it's not possible by simply going to university class every five years to renew your certification or go to a professional development and, um, yeah, get over it. Good. Okay. Well, thank you for your insights. You're welcome. And stay tuned for more videos. <laughs>